Good morning, this is Matt Dom with the Richland Road Church of Christ. Good news to live by for Wednesday, April 15th. We hope that you have a great day today. Make sure you join us tonight for our Bible study of Heroes of Faith. That will be on our Facebook Live page at 7 p.m. We'll be looking at Moses, Hebrews chapter 11, 23 through 29 tonight 7 p.m. Don't forget Russell is leading a Bible study on the book of Ruth on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday nights at 7 p.m. on Zoom. And then join us Sunday morning for our live stream worship on YouTube at 11 a.m. Falling down doesn't make you a failure, but staying down does. Most people know that Thomas Edison conducted countless experiments with countless kinds of material in search of an effective filament to use in carbon incandescent lamps. At each fiber, as each fiber failed, he would toss it out of his window. Soon the pile of failures reached to the second story of his house. One day in 1879, some 13 months after his first failure, he succeeded in finding a filament that would stand the stress of electric current. Here's how he did it. Edison usually picked up a bit of, casually picked up a bit of lamp black, mixed it with tar, wrote it into a thin thread, and thought, why not try a carbonized cotton fiber? He worked for five hours to make that fiber, but it broke in two before he removed the mold. He used two through two spoons of two spools of cotton thread before a perfect strand emerged only to be ruined when he tried to place it into a glass tube. He continued without sleep for two days and two nights before he managed to slip one of the carbonized threads into a vacuum-sealed bulb. Turning on the current, he saw the glow of the electric light as we now take it for granted. A failure doesn't need to mark the end. It can be one step closer to the success that you desire. Proverbs 24.16 reminds us, For a man falls seven times, he rises up again. We hope you have a great day. This is good news to live by.